your mouth and begin to just tell him thank you. Come on, you can say thank you. That's not a hard thing to do for a God that hears all and sees all. That's not a whole lot to ask for a God that has brought you this far. Amen. Come on, I can't hear you. Tell him thank you. Don't do it because I said it. Tell him because he's just that good. Amen. He's that good. Amen. Some of us just don't say it enough. Amen. We we want to have elegant speeches and elegant words, but all you have to do is just begin to tell him thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And other things will follow. Amen. You begin to thank him for just your breath. Amen. Thank him for love. Thank you for eyesight. Thank him for just being God all by himself. Amen. That's a reasonable, amen, that's a reasonable command from the Lord to tell him thank you for all the things he's done, not just today, but throughout all your years, amen. Somebody ought to say, millions didn't make it. Millions didn't make it. Some of your friends didn't make it. Some of your loved ones didn't make it. Even some of your enemies did not make it. But you are a few of the blessed people that God has spared another day, amen. He spared you, amen. It's by his grace and his mercy that you are yet here alive today, amen. And you ought to tell him thank you, amen. I'll tell him thank you for you. Thank you, Lord, for those that are here, amen. That those just don't know you well enough to open up their mouth and tell you thank you for your goodness, for your grace, for your mercy, for your tender love and kindness towards all men, oh God. So Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. We lift up our hands, we lift up our eyes, we lift up our hearts, we lift up everything that you have given to us. God. You said let everything that has breath praise you, the Lord God. I got breath in my Lord in my body, so I say thank you, Lord. I praise you, I glorify you, I magnify you, I exalt your holy name, God. You are God and you are God all by yourself. We thank you today for being good to us, for being gracious to us, for being slow to anger towards us, oh God, for loving us in spite of our faults, in spite of our ways, in spite of our deeds, in spite of the things that we do on a daily basis. God, we thank you for giving us grace. For you said your grace is sufficient. Thank you, God, for waiting on us till we make up our mind to give you our all. Thank you, Lord, for waiting for us, God, to, to turn from our wicked ways, God, and, and acknowledge you, God. Thank you, Lord, for us to, to lay down our burdens, God. Thank you, Lord, for waiting for us to cast all of our cares upon you because you said you care for us. God, you are the lifter of our shoulders. You're the lifter of our hands. God, please don't take your spirit away from us. Don't take your spirit, God. Let the same spirit be in us that caused Christ Jesus to go all the way. Thank you, Lord, for the same spirit to be in us that caused Jesus to, to follow God what you had said. God, we even thank you for that spirit that caused him to get up and to do, God, what you said for him to do. We praise you. We praise you. We can't thank you enough. We can't give you enough glory. We can't give you enough honor. But that which we have, God, our voice, our hands, the activity of our limbs, God, we can wave, God, we can look toward the hills which come in our help. And all of our help coming from you, the author, and the finish of our faith. God bless your people today. Bless them in a mighty way, God. We just don't want this to be a, a coming together, a gathering, God. We want your spirit to move, God. Move in this place like never before, God. God, we ask you to, God, to invite you, God. And we, we ask you all, God, to just sing your spirit today, God. Sing your spirit, God. Set the captives free. Open the eyes. Blind and God, we ask God that you would, you would heal hearts today, heal sickness, heal disease, God. Open up blinded eyes, God. Cause trouble, God, to, to cease and assist, God. Cause the winds and the waves, God, to be still, God. Let there be peace among us, oh God. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for, for those, God, that are civil right here today, God. 
Let them feel your freedom, God. Let them feel your freedom, God. You said whom the Son sets free is free indeed, God. Let them feel your freedom, God. We stand in expectation, God, that it's already done. For in your Son and Savior Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you would turn your attention to the book of Acts. Kind of went in a little different direction. Right? Book of Acts, the 24th chapter. Thank you. I just want to read you a little bit here, then I'm going to get out of your way. Acts 24. a sedition of the Jews, amen. They thought he was the ringleader, amen. They thought he was the one that was spreading the good news. How many of y'all know he was? He was telling everybody about somebody that could save everybody. So here's Paul talking here in verse 10. It says, Then Paul, after the governor had beckoned unto him to speak, answered, For as much as I have known that thou hast been of many years a judge unto this nation. I do the more cheerfully answer for myself. He didn't need anybody to speak for him. He said, I'm going to answer this for myself. Amen. <laughs> because that thou mayest understand. He wanted to understand some things. Amen. Anybody ever just wanted somebody to just understand what they were saying? You don't need anyone else to tell it for you. You don't need anybody else to speak on your behalf. Paul said, I'm going to talk for myself. Amen. Anybody just need to talk to the Lord sometime for themselves? Amen. I'm trying to be good. I understand what they mean right now. Just a little talk with Jesus will make everything all right. I don't need nobody to tell my story. I don't want anybody else to tell it. I want to be able to tell it for myself. I am that I am. Yes, I was. Yes, I did that. Yes, I was that. But now because of Jesus. Yes. He wanted them to understand that there are yet but some 12 days since I went up to Jerusalem for to worship. Anybody know that you need to worship? You need to find a place to worship. Verse 12 says that they neither found me in the temple disputing with any man. I wasn't fussing with nobody. Neither raising up the people. Neither in the synagogues nor in the city. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call hearsay, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which were written in the law and in the prophets. And I have hope towards God. I'm going to stop right there. Anybody have hope towards God? That's what Paul says. He says, I got hope towards God no matter what you accuse me of, no matter what I may go through, no matter what I suffer. Anybody have hope towards God? You do know that is the final solution. That is the final answer. That is the end all. Is God. No matter what you do, no matter how you call on anybody else, if I can sing that old song, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm out of here. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Come on, put your hands together. You may take your seats and bless the name of the Lord. We're getting ready for our announcements on this morning. Amen. 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 Welcome to the Great I Am Temple. Amen. Come on, look at your neighbor. Come on, tell them welcome. You may not be a member, but you can help everybody feel at ease being in the worship center on this morning. Can I get y'all to obey God this morning? Amen. You're welcome. Amen. At the Great I Am Temple. Amen. Amen. And we have been blessed so far. Amen. In the service. I want to make our announcements to uh, let you know. Those of you who are visitors, you may have received a card already. 
amen, and that card is just sharing with you that we have our uh, Tuesday, uh, we have Tuesday services, uh, by, uh, prayer, I'm sorry, we have Tuesday night prayer, intercessory prayer by conference call, and I think it's on your card if you have your card, that number. If not, we do have Facebook, and we do have Instagram, and we, we got Twitter, and, and we get ready to get on TikTok, praise the Lord, and that information is going to be there. So just find us, the Great I Am Temple. On Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock, we have Bible study. It's what we call our Christian growth Bible study. And that's uh, via Facebook, so you can join in anytime. And you can also go to YouTube with the Great I Am Temple there on YouTube, and you can go back and watch the online Bible study. On um, first Sunday evenings, we have at 4 o'clock every four, uh, first Sunday, we have our empowerment sessions, and they entail about anything. Right now, the Lord is just moving us, and we have been moving on finances and to help build the kingdom and help you understand how to manage your finances and how to grow well. So we'll be back here on the first Sunday in May, and that class will be our investment education class. Amen. You are welcome to come. That is not going to be live. Uh, you have to be present in order to uh, get the information. And then on four uh, Saturdays, somebody say four Saturday. Amen. We are excited that we have our children's church ministry that has begun from, and it's from 12 to 2 p.m. But listen, we're going to say children and youth because we have some that are older. It's 2 to 12, but you bring them older. There are workers here that are ready to split out the class and, and get our children going. So if your children are not doing anything on Saturday, bring them to the Great I Am Temple right here at 300 North Main Street. Amen. And we are going to continue to teach them and raise them in the admonition of the Lord. Finally, this is giving time. Can you say giving time? Now I thought somebody get excited about that. Come on, put your hands together and bless God for giving. We don't have to wait until the end of the service to give. And I'm excited. Me and my sister were talking <laughs> yesterday. Uh, we were talking about being excited to uh, pay. Never been so excited to pay your tithe. And I said to her, that meant that you have an income. Bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. Not to be shown, but that meant that you have an income. Right. Amen. 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 Somebody catch that. Amen. Amen. Right now. Right. right now. Not tomorrow. They always say tomorrow. But I need you to catch it right now. Yeah. That if you have an income, that is a blessing. Amen. And the Lord has uh, required some things and some things he has that he wants us to do from our heart. Amen. As he blesses us. I want to read Malachi, the third chapter to you. And we do have, uh, I'm going to tell you how to give right now. And then I'm going to read Malachi to you. I have a moment to share with you. But um, you can give by way of Givelify. You can uh, go to Cash App. You can do that right now. Somebody say right now. Right. And I'll have to wait until the end of the service. And uh, Cash App is TGIATP. Or you can go to our website, which is TGIATemple.org. And you can give that way. Or we do have offering buckets in the back. <laughs> amen. Amen. And we'll pass them out if you just raise your hand and let us know that you have an offering that you want to be a blessing to the amen. ministry today. But I really wanted to read to you Malachi, the third chapter. Lord, put it on my heart to go ahead and, and read this uh, scripture to you this morning. And I'm going to start at the seventh verse and down to 16. It says, even from the day of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return? That was a question. Well, there are some more questions. He turned around and said, will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? And the response was, in tithe and in offering. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, Neither shall your vine cast her fruit 
before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all the nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, said the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord. There were some who rejected this. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? And ye have said, he answered, it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully be before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are yet set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. And found in verse 16, then they that fear the Lord, and that don't mean being afraid, that means reverence him, honor him. Those that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord and that thought upon his name. I just want to challenge you to obey God. Can you say obey God? obey God? Because there's a blessing in obedience. I also want to challenge your understanding that this tithing was not in the Old Testament. Some people don't believe, but it was before. It was before the law. I'm sorry, it was before the law. Melchizedek was a tither. Amen. Jacob was a tither. And they tithed before it was the law. Amen. And so this is not the law teaching you. This is not you saying, hey, I, we don't live up under the law anymore. We live up under grace. Yes, you do. But grace, amen, makes you obey God, amen, when you realize it, amen. And just keep in mind that this was the last book of the Bible, amen, in which God went into a time where he did not speak to the people. It's called the Maccabean period. He didn't say anything for four to 500 years until Jesus came. If you go back home and read everything else, there was a prophecy in the first verses that told them that the Messiah was coming. But God was quiet because the people were not listening. Don't be a people that don't listen. Amen. Obey God. And he said he'll prove. Just prove him. Just try him. Amen. In spite of all your bills that you made. <laughs> in spite of all your debt that you made. If you obey God, amen, he'll even pay those off. Come on, God bless you this morning. Amen. And be obedient to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Fifth Sunday. Amen. Fifth Sunday Fellowship amen. is our kingdom fellowship, and it will be at Holy Divine uh, Church out in Lacey. So we won't be here, you all. We will be in fellowship. If you want to travel with us, we will uh, let us know, and we'll meet you and get you out there. But our church fellowships with about four other churches on fifth Sunday, and we have a blessed time in the Lord, and we want you to be present. Amen. 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 I think we're right now we're going to do our dance. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Listen, I ask these young ladies to come. Uh, this young lady to come and be a blessing to us on this morning. Amen. She has been visiting our ministry, and we love her, and we're loving on her, and, and she hauled out, and let me know she had a talent. <laughs> Amen. So I want her to be a blessing to you on this morning. Amen. 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 Oh, I know y'all can do better than that. Come on, let's give these babies a hand. Amen. Come on, let's give God some glory as they are prepared to set up. Amen. Praise your name, Jesus. God is worthy to be praised. Amen.
Hey man, y'all just give us a minute. We gonna. Just don't know. Come on, baby. 